A lot of times when you guys work with each other, here's what you do. No, just lay it. That's how you're choking. Okay? Now, this is very easy. All I have to do is do like, you know, like that. I'm not getting the full benefit. When Chris is choking you, here's what they're doing. Now, if I don't do this right, I have to hold down and press the elbow up. But what else do I have to do? Turn, because look. <laughs> I have to turn and look at him. Even though it's tight, it'll still come out because you're breaking the balance. You know, you're breaking his balance. Okay? But you have to do an up and down motion here or the technique will not work. So don't, like, don't go easy with each other. I mean, don't kill each other, but get a firm grip on that and, and make sure you, uh, you turn that head, raise the elbow, press the hand down. It doesn't matter if they got one hand or two hands. It still doesn't matter. And don't be afraid to pivot. You've got to pivot when you do it, too. All right? Go back to it. The hook up? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I just put my arm Yeah, I don't have to hold it up. Why do this? So it's just like what the woman Okay, inside. Yeah, yeah. 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 This is how we normally pre block, right? We hard to pre block. Either this way or that way. Okay. What I want you to do, I want you to kind of beat it a little bit. Okay, I want you to do a little walking away. The person comes with the punch. I want you to try to do stuff like that. Okay. Just come in here, strike, strike, you know, whatever you want to do at this point. I want you to just really just learn to relax. Do anything you want. From here, you know, you can do that. Now I put up a guard as I do it, just in case. But technically, you can come as fast as you want. Boom, you know. Real quick, quick, quick. I'm trying not to hit him, of course. And I'm not even looking at him. Quick, quick. So just learn to relax. Now, how do you start first? You just stand here, and the punch comes in, and just let it stand. Okay, coming in, just step away. Okay? And work it real fast with the punch. Okay? And later on, you start putting your strikes into it. I just want you to kind of just play with it a little bit, all right? You can do uh, angulation later. You now as he comes in, I step, so you're all ready to punch now. If you do anything you want, you can do rich hand strikes, punches, anything you want. But I want you to learn to step. And do it on both sides. Coming with this punch hand, and learn to do this. Okay? One step. Much? One step. Look where he is already. What's going to happen? <laughs> He's all mine. <laughs> He's right there. Okay? Try to the animals. Okay, but everything else, again, you observe when the penny has kicked the center. If you saw a roundhouse kick here, he is occupying the center. I moved to this far, but that leg is not Okay? Go oh, hard round. Okay? Now, if, if he's doing the same thing, if I occupy my movement, I start my movement as he shifts, I can hit and walk at the same time. Okay? Hit this one. Oops, you alright? Now, what we're going to do, and I think this, we're going to do this slowly. The man moves, you come to one, two, and you just turn the bottom. All you're doing is turning the hip. There should be no strength. Hit, hit, hit. Okay? All I'm doing is shifting the hips. Move flight. Watch. Slow. Hands here. Okay. I never teach anybody anything different. It's always the same start. Everything's the same. Centers. Occupy centers. Move twice. Body follows the head. 7-10. So as he moves, all you're doing is come one, two, shift back to how many of you guys have occupied a lot of strength 
get you going. Boom. Okay. So here, as I push you into the I need to take this home. No, that, 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 that part was right. This way. Yeah. Now, apply pressure. Okay. It's a pressure, man. It's more. Come on. All right. Okay. Let's try it again. Do it right this way. Ready? Okay, good. Work. I want to see you work more. Well, no, you did it a little different, but that still worked because you had them here, and so you brought it in this way. You brought it in here. When I was doing it this way. Do it crossways. Right. Take your last two fingers. You just say apply the pressure on this. Like that. A lot of times I'll just do this. I'll try to come in really close. But don't do this. See, if you do this, you're going to give him leverage now. See, he's got something to work on. But if I do this, see, he's got nothing to work on. As long as I keep this arm up. You know, parallel to the floor, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm getting closer like you would have been. This is how you are, see? Right off the bat, see, you can't do nothing. I mean, you could, but you're not thinking quick enough to do something. It's a bad stance. All right, now watch. As that kick comes in, see how I drew back here? Now, when he comes in with the punch, watch what I do. Then I move over again. Now I'm set up for punch. I'm in a position, if he decides to throw another spinning back press on me, I'm still in there. 
the position to punch. I'm right there all the time. Doesn't matter what you know. I can do anything I want to do. I'm in position for it. So each time I do something, I have to reposition myself. Okay. So remember that. Take your time. Make it good. You're on film. <laughs> You gotta have a sound. Okay. So what I want sometimes it could be a left or right. So you don't think about it. When you're locking a punch or a strike, what do you do? You wait for no so let's say this here right now. I'm going to move the second I see that move. I want to move the second I see that move. Angle in. Throw it back. See? You're standing still. This time I'm going to look at it. Right here. Just start to punch. Done. Just go. The last thing it's going to move. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to adjust my center. What I've done is, what angle am I at right now? Okay. I'm going here, right? It's going to be the top. I can see the little feet. Okay, we're going to do the same one I gave the other school. Okay, the same thing. To get the punch, and then a... You wait for the punch to be tall. And then block. You're late. The idea is you want to learn to see how you want to move. The thing you see is, man, move, move. Step up to the side, make one block. Step inside, so the punch is good. Yeah, now this is where the guy's in. Kind of block, hit a power, whatever. He's right okay. there. And those times Momentum and power <coughs> comes from understanding uh, timing. Uh, okay. I owe you. Okay. At this so point, the second I see you moving, here's the strike. Here's the hit. Got it on the What if I wait for that punch? Now, okay. it throws the right foot to what? Now, this thing can work for you or for you. He's going to wait for the stage. The idea is I want to try to get out of this throw. There's no base. Okay, so as he elbow. starts to punch and I do this, there's your throw. Yeah, what's wrong here? Yeah. Way ahead of yeah. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So, so what you do is you do, oh, what okay. you're going to do is take a couple of seconds yeah. and you're okay. just going to visualize you know, one part of the body. Okay. So, you look, you do this slowly. Yeah. Yeah. When you see that body so, stretch so, move. What I'm doing here, I'm going to press down on his hand. I'm going to raise the elbow. Once, At twice. the same time, I'm going to look at his chest. And then I'm going to step out and pivot. Has to be done all so what do you do when somebody's when you're out in the public? Here, and somebody's walking around and talking. I have them in a nice choke hold. So you got everybody's head turning, right? Could you see your body's going to start shaking? You usually match somebody's pace. Am I right or wrong? Tournaments you see it all the time. That's like hyper-free and hyper. So as this guy starts to shift, if time goes on, you get better at it, quicker at it. Or you get better at it, and time gets better. The greatest of the fun. This is like, actually, you block. Okay, but make sure at this point that the whole game is going to get out of it. Take the time. Out of technique. Okay. Everything works. Part of it is good. See what David's at right now? Okay, but also, if David's going to punch me again, this shoulder's going to release and he's going to come off. Okay. 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 One, two, I turn, see how I'm turning, okay, I bring my foot up, the right foot up here, my left hand goes right inside, see how it's coming in, okay, I grab his arm up here, take my right hand <laughs> up behind him, apply the pressure, and this is how I wind up with him, okay? Oh, I think what you put when you do this, you better go real slow. Uh, when you grab, if you do this, then you're not really helping this guy out anymore. When I grab, I want to put my arm right under his chin. So when I grab, because so, if he doesn't turn that chin, then we know the technique's not going to work. Okay? But if I do this, then it's, it's not helpful because he can just yeah, turn. He just ducks out of it. So, you know, make sure you get your arm underneath you. Now I'm looking at the okay, go ahead. In the centers. Okay, anytime you First of all, you got all your angles, you got all your moves, you take down, you sweep, so you can do whatever else you want. Okay? 
The other thing is by moving on time, when he starts to hit, there's your hips, your strengths, everything's right there. Yeah. All right? And all you do is you fold in. I don't know. The idea is that you don't pay attention to the guy's on strike. Now, in this case, it doesn't matter where you're going. If the guy hits against it, you hit. That's a good thing. That's right here. But your timing, right here. All right there, guys. Look at the angle on that. Are you picking up all Okay, it's because you're moving at the right time. You move at the right time, you're never taking on body mass. You're never taking on body mass. So if you do that, they're basically what we call a taping on. He goes to hit. What's he doing? I can't grab him the same way. He goes to hit. He goes to hit. It's right there. Okay? If you relax. Got it? Cheryl, I will not hit him. Why? <laughs> They're married. She'll oh. hurt me. <laughs> she laughs when you do it. Does she? Okay. The center lines, guys, as the hit takes place, you're right here. But that block is actually what? It's really hit. Everything is circular. Everything. Anything that releases the leverage. Power getting power to hit. I, I heard a couple of people say, well, you have to be getting real soft. You have to make a technique where it points to the side. You're a big guy. Not soft at all. Because your contact point is he goes to hit. Yeah, yeah. And he's here. I can't reach There's it, a lot of power there, guys. Okay? All I do is I break the balance. Okay, you guys work a couple more seconds, okay? And then we're going to go into something else. Go ahead. Wrap it around here. To the front. Strike to the ground and go into a roll. Come out into a roll. Towards me. There you go. All you do is wrap around. Actually, that's that's a uh, the technique they do against a the throw. Someone picks you up. What you do is, as they're throwing you, you wrap around them, and then he goes down. You fall on top of him. I'm sure Mr. Howard Tooney can remember that. Down yes, sir. The judo. Yes, sir. Okay. So we use that against headlocks as well. Try it again. Travel. Okay, you guys watch. You can you want to play around with this too. Now what he's going to do here, he's going to take his right leg, come inside. As he does, he hits the groin area, let's say. And he just goes into a forward roll. Okay. And then goes down. If you want to play with that, you can. Exactly what it was. I'll tell you what, though, if you had a stars and strike knee and you're swinging commas around your neck, you'd have about 30 people to the speed there. Don't delay it. Show them the lock. Okay? I can use it. Go ahead and do it again. 
He said, why, why, what are you acting for him? Because it looks like you're acting. Yes. He, he called Sheehan a good ookie. He said he, he said he was a good ookie. He told me he was, I, was, I must be a good ookie because that stuff was a little too soft and passive to be <laughs> <laughs> I was there. I heard him. <laughs> you realize he's one of my counterparts that we owe, we're always at odds with one another, he and I, right? <laughs> in, a, in a very camaraderie <laughs> such a way. But I was okay. just offended when he said that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you guys, all we're doing is this. One, two. All right, that's all you do. Can you guys do this? Right hand shakes the hand. Come up like so. Bring this here to the pinky and you grab it here with the left. Okay, go ahead. Let's do that. I'm not sure if I He's going to attack me. Okay, I set. Okay, do not block. Not use your hands. Not strike. Okay, but take him down. So he comes in with his punch. I sidestep and I take him down. Okay, off. From here he comes in again. I can take him down. Off. Take him down. Without using my hands. Now, because the, the first thing you learn, I, like I said, I don't know how much time you went over. He comes in with a punch. I bring my hand back up. Did he go over that one too? Yes. Yes. Just from here, just stepping away. Okay. And I'm sure from here you probably did stuff like this. Okay, so we're just simplifying it, okay? Instead of me using my hands or anything like that, as he punches, I'm going to step in, step, and turn, and what happens? I can just anchor right out, right? Here, again, without blocking, stepping, okay? And then coming right back for this leg, okay? Well, if I wanted to simplify it more, I can hit up there as he's coming in, right? I can do spin-offs, he comes with a punch, we do a spin-off. No, um, but the thing I've shown here is I'm not using my hands, okay? Now, so what does that say? You probably say, well, why did we waste our time blocking? Teaching the main Why did we waste our time blocking? It wasn't a waste. Because, huh? It wasn't a waste, sir. Just teaching us a way to keep ourselves covered. Right. Okay, so. We can do the same thing when the guy does come in. There's my block. It never reaches, but there's my block. Okay? So I'm doing the strike now. Step in here. 
Okay. I angled it. You can do roundhouse punch. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Roundhouse punch. Okay. Give me, give me, uh, uh, give me a left and a right punch. Okay. Want you? What do we got here? Sort of sure. Uh, right. Return is simple. Return is simple. So simple block here. Same thing. Same thing. One, two, three, four. Can we do anything else from here? Yes, sure. Uh, simple technique. Yeah. like sustain. don't like it. Okay. Play around with that. Do some of that. Okay. Try to do the take down for you. Like a dancer. No, 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 no. no. Like you show now. Okay. You take your mid finger right down the finger. Okay. Okay. So what you're doing is you're coming around one. Okay. Now what I like doing is I like adjusting the other body with my lower. So for instance, if I'm if I'm here, I come around and I want to bring him down. Watch my right foot. Watch your feet, of course. If I take my right foot on my hands, doing nothing. Basically, I think I want to turn. They have turned. Back. Down again. Back. So I use a feet a lot. One, two, three, four. Okay? All right? Don't do that yet. Just get the lock. Okay? So you're coming up underneath. Coming around. Here. Taking the pinky. There's your, there's your move. Okay. You want to lock them, you just free your right foot up and left foot. Okay? Go ahead. Watch. One here. All right. And pressure the slide right here. You point it like a gun. What's this? The same thing we were doing. Almost. Okay? Now, we're going to go ahead and go into the counter. Okay? He starts doing a move on you. What we're going to do is we're just going to shift the hip. <laughs> What's happening here, though? Mm -hmm. What about my opponent? What is he doing? He's going, he's going forward still. Right, but he stopped, though, didn't he? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He stopped. So right from here, I'm going to lay my hand here. I'm going to take my other hand up here. I'm going to bring his hand towards this direction here. I'm going to bring it down. Over. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I know... I'm, I'm doing this because I, I want you to learn to relax. I know you can do, as a knife comes in, I know you can do this here and, and strike and all that stuff. Only try to get away from that for a minute. Just to teach you relaxation, and from relaxation, there's power, there's techniques, everything. The idea is... Go straight to the throat. Okay, so here's the technique I'm talking about. Chris is coming here. See how I'm going to the side here, okay? His action stops. Like I said, I can spin around and strike this down the other. But I want, I want to get a little fancy. So I'm simply going to come here. I'm going to bend the wrist. Now, I can bring this knife right to the throat if I want to. But I don't even want to do that. I want to play. Right here. Come around this way here. And drop in. Beautiful. Okay? 
pick up the knife and you never do anything else with it. You know? You never do anything else with the knife. You know? You don't want to overkill or anything like that. No, we wouldn't want to do that. Okay? So simply just, you redirect him, you're letting him come through. Now, you know what another nice thing to do is, like a lot of times you do something like this. Let this guide them. Right from here. Yeah. See? Come right around here. What's up? Right. Yes. <laughs> Little baby. <laughs> All right? Make it slow. Uh, <laughs> this is gently up. I love you. <laughs> Slash and come back. Okay, come around this way and come back. That's it. Okay, so from here. Now, a lot of times people will duck, and that's stupid. Don't duck. Okay, because you know why? Sometimes when a person comes in, he might angle. See? And you're going to duck. Uh -huh. Bad news. Okay? So you don't want to do that stuff. And if you know how to use a knife, you want to So from here, what you do here is you come back here, come in here. Okay. From here. A lot of those things you can do. I like to do an arm break, but I'm not going to bother with that. Okay? Here's my hand is over here, and I go in my arm break. But all I'm going to do from here is I want to take you down at this point. Yeah. Here. Now, I'm not doing really nothing. He's shouting, but what am I doing? You hurt me. Am I doing anything to him? Fine, sir. Mrs. Okay. Burton. Oh, Mrs. Burton. I'm on a pressure point. What? Where's Mrs. Burton? Mrs. Burton. <laughs> <laughs> He's hurting your son. <laughs> this guy. The well, white, the white belt. The white belt. <laughs> the only woman I'm afraid of is this woman. <laughs> <laughs> she can't beat me with she that. She swings at him. Nicholas! She's not swinging canes at him. 24 years she's been doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Remember back in the 70s, you did something to chase through the rake? Yeah. <laughs> she grabbed the high back rake and started running. You son of a bitch. When I get my hands on you, it's going, Ma, relax. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, so, uh, play with the one straight anyhow, okay? Well, you've got some wooden knives, you said. Okay? And don't stand like this. Try to stand like this here. Or when, another way you can stand is this way, too. I don't like this too much because... This sometimes it's too much to have to come all the way around. Some people do it, or they'll do this. They step all the way back like this, then they go in and then they spin. Now, tell me if that isn't kind of stupid. Exactly. So I want to stay just like this. I put this hand out here. I sidestep from the knife over here. Okay? Bring my other hand underneath. Okay? Bend it. Okay? I just. Take the arm down at this point. See how he spins, which is okay, because I just come right around. Over there. Undrop the knife. Okay? Hold the arm here. Or I can hold it at this point here. Or I can turn it like this. Check the knife out. Make sure there's no blood on it. <laughs> Wipe the fingerprints off it, you know? <laughs> Okay, there's some wooden knives, get them. Brian. Yeah. 
set him up again. That means it. my center, his reality is my center is here. I shoot my center ahead of him. Okay, this allows center to move. She comes in, she grabs. Left, right, right. Right, right. And now keep saying. He gets up again. Stop twisting it up. Run along. Now watch again, guys. It's my feet. Move. Oh, you get rid of it. All I'm doing is staying ahead of the center. Come on. Yeah. I'm having a great time watching you. I'm not going down. No. Well, you guys see what I'm doing? What am I doing? Somebody grabs you, move your center, move your lower center first, and then just move it back. Yeah. I feel like a white belt. God. Ah! <laughs> 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 you know what you're gonna like, though? <laughs> <laughs> Dumb ass foot <laughs> and other foot. Now, just like left and right. Just turn and stroke. Now, no matter how much pain he gets hit with and how much embarrassment he gets, that's why we can relate. Now, you're gonna hold the pressure on one hand. One more time. Okay. 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 Well, Come walk here. away from it. <laughs> Just let go. I think he's almost done. I had enough. One more time, Margaret, and you said again. You, you guys see what I'm doing now? What am I doing? I'm just shifting the weight. If this comes out here, I realign center to here, which is actually going to realign this center. So as he moves. I thought I had him. I thought I had him. All right, go. Ready, John. <laughs> I'm not sure this will be very good for you. One more time for Mike. <laughs> oh, all you do is, now see, look, the thing is, your hand, if you're doing everything up here, then you've got a problem. You can switch your legs to yourself. See what you're doing? Get that going, man. Go ahead. That's practice. That's art. If you're going to fight, you have to fight or have to counteract somebody else moving. Objective? you put your opponent at a disadvantage. You throw the timing off, the balance off. Right? This is art of war. Am I right? No matter what it is, that's what it's all about. If your opponent has time to gain momentum, and he has leverage in his attack, you're going to have to have a defensive posture. But you're going to have to take on his blow. You guys understand? In the dealing of dealing with someone's punch, there is no difference between that and dealing with a, a mass punch. It's the same thing. You have to reposition your opponent. When you reposition an opponent, when your opponent is lined up, let's say if you've got troops here, and that, those troops can see your troops three maneuvers. So the idea is you have to be subtle. Your shifting and your creation of imbalance has to be an illusion to the opponent the way he thinks he is in balance. You understand? That's where timing comes in. Ayoshi. Move twice. Your opponent sees you move once, but you move twice. When it comes to your own body, you have the upper and lower body. You set your opponent up with the lower troops. Body's paying attention to the upper. If he's paying attention to the lower, set him up with the upper posture. Your center is your general. Here. This is what should manipulate all movement. This and the head. A lot of time. Spine. But Understand? Uh, so what all I'm teaching you guys with all of this stuff, locking, striking, kicking, any of this stuff, is the same thing. Create imbalance. When Mark was trying to do the lock on me, Mark's reality was everybody seeks natural center, slow motion. That's the center. When you guys grab or when you step, your hand will always balance yourself, but it will always go to your center. It doesn't do this. People don't walk like this. They do this. Right? So when he grabs, I turn this outward. My center is actually here. This hand is aligned with that hip, not his center anymore. Because he's looking at me here. 
Now he goes to do something again. I move again. Now what's happening? You see? When somebody gets ready to throw a punch and they start to move slowly, what have I just done to you? Open it wide up. How much movement did I make? Not much. Okay? Now this is why. Because as he punches, I'm going to stand here and let you punch me. As he punches me, he's going across here to meet his center coming in. Okay? He's got a balance got an elbow, we've got a As he starts to cock his punch, it's good. Maybe even this. What have I done to him? He will eventually go down. Nice. So change his center, he's totally unbalanced. Like this. Okay? So but you always move twice. So as this guy starts to move, all I do is shuffle here to here. Now where is here, He's all the way over here. You guys understand? These are subtle things. This is what you want to do, even in Kumite. You can do it in the free fighting stand. And he's here, and you start doing this. So it is. Just a, a small shift. He goes a little bit. All it is is a slight shift. Now he's in this posture. Okay. A man likes to bring his hands a certain, uh, uh, standing here, and even in judo, my hand comes to this side of him, I just cut his shoulders from him, and he starts to move, I mean, as and wouldn't be done the way, the way you Kumite, see it. it's the same thing, okay? okay? When I teach my guys free fighting, I teach them how to throw guys base off from the same posture. Creating an illusion, screw it. He starts to cock and throw a punch, and as you move, <laughs> You guys understand where he's at? He gets a hold of my hand. I adjust to here. Where is he? Okay, he wants to re-grab my hand. I'm here now. Where is he? You guys understand what I'm saying? This is subtle stuff. But if, you, if you don't think in terms of blocking a punch or a kick or a throw or a strike or whatever, you just think in terms of repositioning the body mass. Guy sits back in the stance, he's going to fight you? You go here. He's not going to go through a lot of... But you move as you see moving. He starts to move, you shift. There's your elbow strike. He's going to come around. That's where he's at. He goes to move. This is it. Okay? Now, last time you'll see this. You guys understand? It's slight and subtle. I've seen this. Sweep. You got your tape. Okay? This. Okay? Make everything nice and subtle. So all I'm doing, I gave you guys the key. I gave you the key of looking to see movement. This guy's coming out with this right here. shifting your shift. Or shift twice. Somebody grabs you, shift twice. Shift this day. The opposite part of the body that someone's grabbing. You're going to allow it to manipulate the rest of you. Does that understand? So, everything is the same. Body follows your head. Move twice, seven ten. These are principles of Metosis. Seven ten means a move. If you make movement with a force of seven, you attract it with a force of eight. Greater your second movement than your final. Okay? Understand? Now, is this going to make sense to you today? Hell no. Okay? You're going to be working on this for a long time. But I'll tell you what will happen is, as it starts making sense, it's going to change everything you do. Everything. Your technique, it's not that your technique is different, it is the timing and the interplay with an opponent that becomes different, because you'll understand timing better. Uh, you should be, what impressed me the most about me, Tulsi, was that little pinch you did to me. That messed me up so bad, I moved fast, he moved slow, he was on time. Now what he was doing to me with these things, he understood for me to cover a gap, I had to establish a base. He didn't explain this to me, but I know it now. So I had to cover a distance from here to here. He knew that I couldn't launch my final punch until I formed a certain gate. All he had to do was move really six inches. He didn't have to move fast. All he had to do was shift twice, slowly. Be in there on time. You understand? All right. So to me, it was magical, but it wasn't. But if he were to hit me, he would have lit me up. And the punch might not have come out any faster than this. He would have killed me. You understand? Problem is, it takes time to figure out. Problem is, there's frustration because you're trying to get the answer. You will not have the answer to things ever. If you understand that, you're going to get more answers for one thing, but then it's going to lead you into another. Okay, now, what we're going to do. Mark, that's a hard concept. That's easy, man. So what we're going to do now is this guy's going to start shifting the punch. I'm going to move twice. What have I just done to Mark? Yeah, absolutely. 
Uh, you guys look, look at where our body mass is going. Stay right here. Stay right here. If I rotate back to my old center, where is it? Okay. Real subtle in it. Okay. All right, so what you guys are going to do, stand up straight. You're going to learn to see without looking. If you want to check out the tree, you guys just and shift. Now, this punch is wide open to my head, right? He comes around, pow. <laughs> my counter is right there. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Why would he put two hands up? Do you like this? Yeah. Don't you find that amazing? Yeah. Is this stopping getting on his hands or something? I know you're going to no. die if you don't Isn't that, you <laughs> isn't that an, an amazing thing? The biggest mental, thing that isn't that an amazing mental manipulation? The biggest thing is when I do this here and I see his hands come up, I'm like, what do I do? What's going on? Imagine While I'm that. thinking, I'm like, oh, it's too late. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's over. Go back. I'm going to start your punch. <laughs> see, I'm stuck now. You guys understand? This is the same thing as what my take. What, what, what is this in my take? He just figured out the point. He doesn't even realize it. He just controlled you mentally. That's what he's trying to teach you guys. Control the opponent's movement. He goes to move. Stop the thought process. Interrupt it. But if you're going to hit from that, he's going to move. He's going to hit it. Go ahead. Play with his body. Take the distance. Brian. Trying to think about yeah. adjusting or yeah. also his base is totally thrown off. So what you guys are doing, so what you're doing is you're interrupting your people with people who have a of where you are, where you're not going to keep your team. That's just something you practice 24 hours a day. You're around people. Okay, the other thing, remember, every time somebody hands you something, those boys wind up with Always, you guys hear somebody stop straight, you always do this. You shake somebody's hand, you do this, right? You don't do this, right? So when you hand somebody something, what does that do to you? Okay, you understand? This is how the body works. The punch is in the same way. Anything that you shift and you change, you screw up that guy. That gives you the timing where you do whatever you want to do. Okay? Take care. Okay. What are you smiling? No, I'm are you thinking about it? Oh, yeah. I'm right. If you can fight Sometimes if you want somebody to hand them something, uh, and then drink at a table and just slide the drink close to the punch and fall all over. He who hesitates meditates in horizontal position. <laughs> Hanchi, would you like a sandwich? <laughs> would you like a sandwich while you're waiting? A sandwich? <laughs> while you're playing. Oh, now, he's, now, now he has his hands free, you can eat the sandwich. <laughs> Come on, Mark, he's distracted. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Are we doing on time? About <laughs> well, 15 minutes. First of all, we're going to do some things with the ball. 15 minutes in the summer. I'm talking about seminars. Okay. 15 minutes in the summer. I'm talking about yeah. we know that when somebody's going to hit you with a strike, they're going to shift the body. Right? So anything that you see, right away you decide where you want to hit, where you want to strike. So if I want to strike with my right hand, I don't want to do it right here. So I don't want this hip aligned here. I want to shift to here. That allows my base and my hip to come straight up center line. So as he starts to move, this guy's here. Understand? If I started from this hip alignment here, it starts to move. There's a slight shift. It moves. It's right here. That's the first thing. If you understand shifting, you move twice, he starts to move, there's your block and your strike. It's right here. Right here. As he starts to move again, you guys are right here. Your centers are here, your alignments are here. Okay? All you're doing is a shift. It's real subtle. Okay? When a man's moving slowly, punch, block, position yourself the outside, the inside. All that little shit, you guys, that stuff we're doing with the flows and grabs is the same stuff. Okay? Got it, Mark? Flowing. The guy starts to move, and you understand when to enter. All your flows are right there. You're not going to have to take out a lot of body weight. Okay? Always shift back to where you were. Where's my hand? Take it off. Okay? Here's your moves. Okay? Your grabs. Did I cover a rookie in a while with you guys before? Okay, watch one. Punch. A rookie, what you're doing is taking the lower base and just punch it to the side. It turns to punch right now. Alright, here's the ball. Two guys down there? A rookie? Oh, yes, yes. No, we didn't cover a rookie punch. Anything you do, punch. Okay. I'm going to try this guy. Let's try a couple. What you're doing is dealing with rotation. Punch. Here. Punch. 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 Now all you guys are doing slow, slow. If I move to the center, he's got to rotate. My, whoop. If I have my foot here, this leg is going to occupy where my foot is. So I let that punch come because he's got to rotate. So as he does, okay? You want to try it? Okay, slow. Punch. No matter where you're at, if you're here, punch. Okay? Punch. Think about it. 
related that to our body that is a constipated body. Okay, loosen up the bowels and move. Okay? Go ahead. Questions about anything? Please ask them. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably don't have questions for me, but you must have some questions for Hanchi because you don't really know about him that much. So don't be afraid to ask him. Like you guys ask me a question about me. You know about me? Find out about him now. Ask him all these questions. What's your favorite color? My favorite, my favorite color? He said favorite of all. I was curious. Question. Yeah, then we were talking about the um, stances and the self-defense techniques and how they were linked to like a lot of the katas and like similarities we were just mentioning. The katas in your yeah. system, a lot of the stances directly linked to the self-defense and the katas a lot like the way you do the movement. Okay, a lot of shifting. Every, everything you learn, you have kata, laza, one kata. The same thing, kata is a form. What is kata? Kata is picking your nose. That's a form. Now why are you doing this? Well, I'm doing it to get rid of something. Or I could be doing this because I want to do a throw. The idea is you use a form or a kata to express later and you express one kata. Meaning, you, you expand your mind to see more than what's directly in front of you. What's in front of you is always based upon your prejudice. Am I right? A lot of people say kata, there's no value in kata. They're very wrong. Kata's, kata's everything. Doesn't mean a set pattern moves. When you're doing kumite, you're doing kata. Second, you're in a body posture, a position. That's kata. Now, you got a reason for being here. Now, how many things can you do from that? That's bunka. You understand? The forms that we do, we work the forms, but we always study the thing that we don't see. Okay? There's a statement I use. You must always work just as hard to forget as what you do to learn. To learn something, get rid of it. Learn something else from it. Don't gravitate towards it the way you stop seeing things. You understand? Information is good, but it can corrupt. Okay? So you always want to be innocent like a child. So the kata is in the form. No matter what form it is. The professor's teaching your was in this form. You see a body motion coming here. It's not just a punch. There's a throw there. There's a body uh, maneuver to you place yourself in a 90 degree or something. You understand that this ankle moves from here, now you can be over here with it. You see, what you do, based on your prejudice, when your teacher teaches you something, all you do is you gravitate towards that one explanation and you want to make yourself satisfied. Never do that. So, <clears throat> everything professor showed you yesterday in doing your form, as far as I'm concerned, I can look at the form, I see throws, I see strikes, I see movements. I see swordsmanship, I see a lot of things there. But if you guys, as you're doing it, all you see is just what you're told right there, and you don't see the other stuff, you're missing it. So what I do is I try to always induce thought. The one thing that you can do to people, confusion is a beautiful thing. Creative. The more you confuse, what do you do? You become more of a student, you get better. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes. Don't ever sell kata short and don't ever think kata is just a series of doing 19 movements or 20 movements or 100 movements. No. Everything you do is kata. Can you explain some of the lineage of the kata and take those short guy curriculum? Well, a lot of the forms that we do come through Bobby Lowe and Kikoshi. And um, that is because when Lowe was with Thomas Young, that those were the forms he had. But the only other forms that uh, Tulsi would be given at the Buddha, which was out of respect for Gogi Yamaguchi. And uh, Nikosi was real close with Yamaguchi. You'll see that in the tape. Ooh. Kruki was given a letter from Nikosi to see Yamaguchi in, in Japan, and he knew of Nikosi real well, so that, that answers a lot of questions for him. Last time I was talking to Karate Valley, so about the Japanese and Chinese martial arts, and they'll say, well, that copy is like the king on it, that copy is like the king on it, that copy is like the king on it, that copy is like the What do you say to people that tell you that? Tell you that? Now, first of all, I want to define Kempo. My interpretation of Kempo. All Japanese-based systems of Karate come from Kempo. Not necessarily Kosho, but maybe Ryukyu Kempo. But it was all called Kempo at one time. In uh, Korea, it was called Kunba. Okay? In China, it was called Chuanpa. In Indonesia, it's called Kuntao. 
It's the same thing. Kanji is the same. It refers to study. Kempo is probably looked upon by the Japanese as more of a, from a religious standpoint because it dealt with more than just a hit and a punch and a kick. There was a whole study. So the karate is, they, their stuff comes from the Yuki Kempo. That comes from the priest. That can be traced all the way back. So if you trace Kempo, Chuanfa, Chuanfa can be traced back to what they call the Vajramutki. You guys ever heard that term? Vajramutki means the clenched fist, or uh, thunderbolt, the clenched fist of the Buddha. That meant thunderbolt represented light. The clenched fist represented the Buddha. The Buddha reached down and grabs the knee and asked the disciple, asked the disciple, no tree, more than all leaves in my hand or on the tree. The answer is, is the same. Because that leaf represents the tree, represents everything else. And if you trace Kempo, you can trace the I Ching, Book of Changes. What happens to a Kempo man if he's unwilling to change in the middle of combat? What happens? You lose. So you have to be able to adapt. Every technique you learn, you have to be able to adapt it to other things. You have to be able to see the whole picture. Therefore, you've got to develop an attitude towards study. That was a monster. Do you have a question, Mark? You